I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an Inuit Arctic domed snow house. I take two fingers right here in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, and leave it floating. I come back to my dot and I draw a little straight line out, straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, little straight line, connect. I come right back here on the left hand side with this corner and I draw a straight diagonal up, connect. I come back up here on the top and I'm going to mimic this line. I'm going to draw a curve line out, straight line down, little straight line, connect. Inside this space I'm going to put little straight lines. And when we start talking about this snow house, I'll go through all the labeling. I come right back up here to the top and I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line down, straight line, and leave it floating. I come up here on the top and I draw curve line, connect. Come down a bit, curve line, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, connect, and now a kind of wavy curve line, connect. I'm going to draw slightly wavy line on the right, slightly wavy line down below on the left, slightly wavy line right here again on the right. I come back inside this space and now I'm going to draw straight lines going down, straight lines going down, straight lines going down, all the way over. These represent blocks of snow, blocks of snow, not ice, snow. Snow is compressed and gives you way better insulation. So this is compressed snow. All right, over here on the upper left I put a dot and I draw a little curve line down, curve line out, in, down, up, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, curve line up, down, out, up, connect. I'm going to put little tiny straight lines every once in a while going around and little tiny straight lines going inside and we'll label all this. Right here I'm going to put a curved line and a baby triangle. Okay? I come up to this space and I'm going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line. I do an overlap, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line one more curved line and leave it floating and that gets a curved line and a baby triangle. Okay, right next to that I'm going to draw a baby triangle, wavy wavy line, baby triangle, wavy wavy line. Okay, I come down here on the bottom and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a spiral bring it up and put a baby triangle. Okay, let's see, is that everything? I think it is. Okay, we are going to now label this. This right here is an animal skin and that is the door cover right here. This space right here is the ventilation hole ventilation hole like a chimney and this is for the smoke 
from inside to escape. The wavy, wavy lines and the baby triangles represents heat rises. And because the heat rises up inside the snow dome, people could sleep towards the top and stay warm. Towards the top, sleep towards the top. And that's because heat rises from the fire that they have going on in there. The upper portions would therefore stay warm. So you could have a blizzard going on outside and you could still pre stay pretty warm inside your snow house. Okay, snow is a great insulation. That means it keeps out the cold, keeps in the heat. Not ice, snow. Big difference. Snow can maintain a comfortable temp for temperature inside. And the spiral represents the way that the Inuits or the um, snow house was built. It's blocks of snow arranged in a spiral. I know this is a lot to write, but I could not believe how intense a snow dome, a, a domed snow house really is. I'm going to write here the tribe that they always refer as Inuit Arctic, because these show up way up north. Arctic domed snow house two words snow house all right let's see how we're going to color this in okay this project doesn't have too much to color in because the snow is white the environment is white but your little animal skin that should be gray that's going to keep out the wind and everything from blowing. Then we do have all these important labels so all of these baby triangles we should do red. So go through and get those all done. And I thought this was very interesting in the way that they built the domes they end up doing a spiral as far as uh, a configuration. Last, so it's not totally boring, I just took my blue and if I had a line I put a little bit of blue so the whole thing doesn't look too boring. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Inuit Arctic domed snow house all colored in. I cannot believe how much information is labeled on this one uh, structure. And I think it's also amazing that it reinforces wherever you are with whatever materials you have available, you can make a shelter. Okay, bye-bye.